Welcome to this Google Voice tutorial by the Mary F. English program at Northern Illinois University. Whereas Google Hangout is great for hosting video chats, Google Voice is intended for standard voice-only phone calls. If you live in the United States, Google Voice will let you make free phone calls to all phone numbers in the U.S. and even give you your own phone number so you can receive calls from United States phone numbers for free. Once you create a Google Voice phone number, you can have any calls made to it forwarded to your mobile or landline. Google Voice also offers free text messaging and will take voicemails for you and transcribe them so you can read them as text in your Gmail inbox. To use Google Voice, you'll need to have a Gmail account. Once you're signed up for one, you can search for Voice to access the page or go directly to Google Voice by typing in google.com slash voice. If you're here for the first time, you're going to have to click Get a Voice Number. Then you can either combine Google Voice with your existing mobile number and make use of its functions such as the voicemail transcription or you can request an entirely new number. Signing up for a new phone number is entirely free as long as you supply an existing phone number of yours. Once you hit continue, Google will call that number and you'll have to enter a verification code to complete the process. Once you've completed the sign up process, you can send text messages for free by clicking the text button. Just enter the phone number you want to text in your message and Google will send that message from your Google Voice phone number. More importantly, you can place a call by clicking the call button and entering the 10 digit number you want to reach. If Google Talk is selected, that means that you'll be making the call using your computer's microphone. Now, Google Talk actually works in conjunction with Gmail and what we have open right now is Google Voice, so you'll also need to open your Gmail account in order to complete a call using the Google Voice. If you don't want to use your computer's microphone and you have a, another phone number attached to your account, you would be able to have the call forwarded to one of those phones using this pull-down menu. Okay, so to demonstrate, just type in a phone number you want to reach and hit connect. You should hear a ringing sound in your Gmail screen so go there and click answer. Now I'm now connected with that number I can hear it ringing and the other party is waiting to pick up. This button here will allow you to record the conversation if you are receiving an inbound call so I'm making an outbound call so I'm not able to record this. Um, this is kind of a sketchy thing to begin with because it's illegal in most places to record a conversation unless the other person on the other side consents to it. So only use this if the other person on the other side of the phone call gives you their permission. You can also access a dial pad here in case you're being prompted to enter numbers while on the phone. This button will let you pause the conversation and you won't be able to hear the other person and they won't be able to hear you. And this feature lets you mute the microphone so the person on the other side will not be able to hear you. And of course you can end the conversation by clicking end. And lastly, Google Voice offers a great voicemail and call history organization system. If someone leaves a voicemail to your number, it will appear in your inbox, as will your recorded conversations. Google Voice will also automatically transcribe your voicemails and recorded conversations so you can read them instead of listening to them. Also, you can leave notes to the calls that you make by going to More and the Add Note button. And it may be difficult because you may have a lot of calls in your history to remember you know, wh what call you left the note on. So you can find the note just by searching for any keywords that were involved in the note that you left. Okay, that does it for this tutorial. If you'd like to learn about other VOIP services, you can check out our Skype, Google Hangout, FaceTime, or Uvu tutorials. Thanks for watching.